In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to cut out your first job or your first graphic or artwork using Vinyl Master Cut. Now before I go into the lesson itself, I need to know that you've actually done a couple of important preliminary lessons so that you're in a position to do this lesson. So if we click on the Help menu up here and go to Help Topics, you'll see the Vinyl Master Manual comes up. Now in here, on the left hand side, you'll see this How To's link. You click on that and you'll see these two lessons. It's very important that you do set up your software and set up your cutter before we do this lesson here. That way I know that you're ready to go. So I'll just minimize that. So to cut your first artwork, you actually need some artwork. So we'll create a new page here by clicking this button. Now if you've opened up the program and you want to know how to create a page, just click here New Document and that will create a new document like so. Now this will pop up by default unless you uncheck it and then it won't come up on start anymore. But I'll just pop that away by clicking this button here. So, okay, we've got a blank document here. You can see the size is letter, which you can see here, which is fine for this, this lesson. Okay, so let's create some artwork. And look, we don't need to do anything uh, too fancy to start off with. You can watch the next lesson about cutting complex artwork. Right now, we're really interested in just how do you actually send a cut file to the cutter to cut out? It's very simple. I'll just type in some text. Um, you can just type in your first name if you like, or test, or whatever you want to cut out. So I'm going to cut out this text here, and for the sake of it, I'll turn this into another font, Arial Black, for example, and I'll just draw out shape. Um, an arrow is fine. So here we've got the word Vinyl Master and an arrow. If we go into wireframe mode down the bottom here, you can see that this is paths that we can now cut out using our cutter. So to send this to the vinyl cutter is very simple. You just simply come up to this button here. So send the art selected artwork to the vinyl spooler as is. So click on that. And the send to be cut module comes up. Now this module has a number of settings that we can work with. Like for example, which cutter we want to send it to and its size. If we want to give the job a name. Um, we can rotate it. We can mirror it. Um, we can set whether it advances after we finish plotting. In other words, it pushes the vinyl out so that we can then just cut it off and then weed it out and apply it to the job. We can cut it in its absolute position based on where we've designed it. Um, if we've used multiple colours we can separate that, we can add registration marks, etc, etc. A lot of these tools are discussed in later lessons like cutting complex artwork, etc. So I'm not going to go into those now. I just want you to know how to send a cut file to the cutter. So once we've got our cut file sorted out like this, we haven't really set any settings at the moment, it's just the way it was. We click Cut Now, and Proceed With Cutting comes up in the vinyl spooler, as you can see here. Now, before you go and cut a file, maybe what you should do is load up some paper and a pen and use that for your very first uh, cut file. Um, and once you've done that, by all means, do it again uh, with, uh, with some vinyl and your blade in there. Um, just be wary that you don't have the blade sticking out too far and that you don't have your force too high. Otherwise, you'll end up cutting through the backing material. Okay, so once we're ready to go um, and we're happy and the, the cutter is online, which obviously you've got to put the cutter online, so make sure you've set your zero zero origin and you place the cutter online and you're ready to go, you click yes. And as you can hear, cutter springs into action and starts doing the job. And once it completes the job, the file is put into the done folder as you can see here. So it's moved from current down to done. So you'll see all your files built up in here. So all you have to do now is pull the cut file out of the vinyl cutter and weed it out and you've cut your first cut file. Uh, and that's all there really is to cutting. Um, I can just repeat that for you. You have your artwork you've designed. You can either select it if you want to only send that artwork. Um, I'll give you an example of that if I hit the plus key here. If I want to cut all of this file, I can click this button, the send a cut button, and you'll see it selects all of the artwork. However, if I just select this, uh, these two pieces and send those, it only sends those two. So that's how you can decide what you want to send to the cut file. So in this case, we'll send these two pieces here. You click this button, send, to, send the selected artwork to the vinyl spooler, click that. It loads in the send to be cut module. You can set your settings, see other lessons for that. Click cut now, and the vinyl spooler comes up with proceed with cutting, and you simply click yes, and off it goes. Just be sure to make sure your settings are okay on your cutter. Uh, and please watch the other lessons so that you're familiar with how to set up the cutter, calibrate it and do all those sorts of things. So that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching.